Welcome to the My Creative Days podcast, where we will talk about all things DIY, home decor, decorating tips, and creating a beautiful home on a budget. I am hoping our time together will spark a creative idea, help you plan your next DIY, or inspire you to finally tackle that project you keep putting off. Grab your favorite cup of motivation and let's chat. Good morning, every. I always say good morning. It could be afternoon, it can be night. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. And right now, as I'm recording this, it's 11.37, so we're almost to the afternoon. So happy Monday. <laughs> Let's just start there. Um, today, I wanted to talk about a question that I got from somebody uh, through Instagram. If you're not following me there, you can find me at My Creative Days. Uh, send me messages, send me uh, podcast recommendations, things you want me to answer on the podcast. Uh, it's super helpful. But uh, a question that came in more of a kind of like a statement, but it was, please talk more about how to get rid of things. I saw your previous talks and I need a little more boost. So um, I've been talking a lot about organization and purging and all of that recently because always around the new year, that's just a good time to do it as you're putting Christmas decorations away and um, just through the long winter, it's just a good time to kind of get get some things organized. And that's just like the time that everybody seems to want to do it around the new year. Resolutions and just having a better year and all the things. And it's something I do all year round. Um, I do do some big like yep, in the winter we, um, and then like towards the fall. I, I like to do a big purge session and, and then just throughout the year, just um, as I feel a little bit claustrophobic in our home or I just feel like things haven't been cleaned out or or organized in a while then I just do it and it's something I do thoroughly enjoy and I know not everybody does so when I can help people um kind of tackle these things in their homes it just makes me super happy so to give you a boost I thought today I would just kind of talk about or maybe just ask you some questions that might help put things into perspective for you um, for somebody like me, you know, it's easy for me to get rid of things. I'm not somebody that hangs on to things just to hang on to things. Um, you know, when the kids outgrew, well, we had a boy and a girl, so I wasn't hanging on to like, you know, some of his clothes <laughs> she would wear, but like not everything. And so as soon as Landon would grow out of something, you know, I would pass it on or, or whatever. But it's just, I have just never had a hard time getting rid of things. And so, um, Maybe just some of the things that I think about or some of the things that I question like to myself or as I'm going through the process, I thought it might be fun to kind of share those today and then maybe that would help help you go through the process or maybe just encourage you in a different way or just have you think about things in a different way that you maybe don't think about them. Um, so first of all, I mean, I, let's just be completely honest and just say it's stuff, Right. The things that you struggle with getting rid of or organizing or like this 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 topic is I need a boost. I need a boost. I need to be pushed a little bit more to get rid of stuff. It's stuff, right? Like the, our main, it, it, we don't need stuff to be happy. We don't need st more stuff in our homes. Um, I, you know, one thing, and I don't know, I think it's like as you get older, um, just things start, I just start thinking, I have been thinking about things in a different way lately. And by lately, I would say probably in the last five, five to eight years, I just not, I mean, the inevitable, right? We're not here forever, but it's just this thought of, um, like when I'm making maybe business decisions or like, um, just other decisions, bigger decisions, when I I think about, you know, when I'm laying there on my last, you know, few days, am I going to regret this? Or am I going to be like, why didn't I just try that? Or why didn't I do this? Or why didn't I take the plunge? Or what? So I think a lot of, I think a lot of the things that I think about or the way that I think has a lot to do with, you know, life so short. Life is so short. And so spending so much time worrying or with stuff or, you know, stressed out about things that we can control I just think maybe it just kind of puts a little different perspective out there. You can't take your stuff with you. And we are, a lot of people are dealing with stuff that other people, like we have inherited or that has been passed down to us and that is now offering or, or bringing some stress to us or just like, what do I do with all this stuff? I don't really want all this stuff, but 
it's sentimental and I feel like I have to keep all this stuff and it was so-and-so's and it was passed down to me and I now have a whole nother household of stuff and I don't know what to do with it. And I do have an entire blog post about how to get rid of um, sentimental items. We put a guide in there that'll help you walk through those things. So again, in this in the show notes, I will leave links to that um, for you guys so you can check it out. But um, you can't take the stuff with you. So that's another thing. Just, just to have stuff to have more stuff in your house, you're not going to take it with you. It is just stuff. When you look at this stuff that you know you're kind of that is giving you anxiety, you're kind of stressed out about. How do you how do you feel when you see that stuff? And be completely honest. Go home wherever you are. Go home today and actually ask yourself that question. When you are thinking about the things that you are struggling with, purging, getting rid of, you know, organize those kinds of things. When you look at that stuff, how do you feel? And be completely honest, the one rule I have for anybody that's going to get organized or anybody that I have helped organize, get organized, is you have to bring your honesty. If you do not bring your honesty, this is not going to work. And by honesty, you know, does it fit me? Do I use it? You know, do I love it? Is it flattering on me? You know, like all these questions that we go through. If you're not honest about those things, the, the process isn't going to work. So when you look at your stuff that you're, that you're, you know, kind of, dealing with how do you feel when you're at home are you relaxed at home like can you kick up your feet and feel 100 percent relaxed or are you worried about where that bill is that you need to pay i know you know the kids got to get out of school tomorrow and it's a special dress day and i don't know where her you know purple pants are and his blue shoes are and so now i got you know are you constantly doing those kinds of things like like when you're at home, like you cannot fully relax, you cannot fully just kick back and just be, you know, done with your day or, or, you know, just, just not have to think or worry about those kinds of things. Um, because organization and purging and, and it, it, it goes across the board. And I know I'm not going to get into all of this here, but it's not only your physical spaces in your home, it's taking up so much mental space that you may or may not even realize. So it's, I, I just wish, it's just, um, what do I want to say? So it's not even just, you know, those one little things, but it's like, you know, how I said the bills, like you're thinking about, oh my gosh, I know I need to pay the light bill or, and I know a lot of things are online now, but if you're like me, okay, you guys, I'm still writing out the checks and putting the stamp on the envelope. There's something about it. I got to do. I don't know. It's just, I haven't like gone over to the other side and just done, done it all on, um, done it all on my, sorry, my phone just went off on online. So I am still somebody that has the paper bills and all of that, but it's just all those kinds of things. Like, do you relax at home or are you constantly, you know, flabbergasted or just not, not flabbergasted. That's not the word I wanted to say at all, but you're, you're just not settled. You're just not settled in your home. Another thing I want to ask you, do you not have people over because of the stuff, the clutter, the hoarding? Do you not invite people over because of that? Be honest. Be honest. Is that the reason why you're not having people over? Some of these things, the reason why I kind of wanted to go through this is because I really want you to think about these things. If you need an extra push or an extra boost, start thinking about the things this way. And I think you will come up with your answer and it'll make it a lot easier to get rid of these things just by just by this thought process and just thinking about some of these different things that you may not be realizing it's affecting. Um, and what are you afraid of when it's gone? So if you got rid of it, if you got rid of the clothes that are not fitting you in your closet, they legitimately are not being worn. They are just taking up real estate in your closet. If you got rid of all of those and that reminder that they do not fit anymore, which is not a good reminder, what are you worried about? What, what are you afraid of? If you got rid of those, what would you be afraid of? Like I immediately think, thank goodness, that reminder is gone. Like I don't have to worry about that. I don't, I, the only things in my closet right now are things that I love, things that fit me, things that I feel good in, things that are flattering, you know, all those things. All that other stuff is gone. Like that's not taking up any more headspace. I don't have a constant reminder every time I open my closet and I can get on with my day. I can get on with my life, right? A lot of that stuff is weight we are holding on to. <laughs> Pun not attended there, but weight that we are holding on to that we just don't need in our lives, right? 
Get rid of it. There's So ask yourself, what are you afraid of if you do get rid of it? Sentimental things, I kind of talked about that already. I had that on my list here. So here's another thing that I wanted to you to think about because I've thought about this too. Sometimes I think about this to myself. So I've always thought it would be so much fun to like just sell everything, get in an RV and just travel the world, like travel across the US, do it through Europe, wherever you choose, right? Like I just think that adventure would be such a like lifetime, like once in a lifetime thing, right? So if you win an RV trip, right, and you have no other worries, just don't worry about bills or anything like that, but you win an RV trip and you're only going to take the things that you really need, use, love, want, um, it, are these things that you're going to, that you're worried about or that, you, that are kind of giving you a little bit of stress and anxiety, are those things going on that trip with you? Now, obviously, I know, like in an RV, like we're not, you know, we're not going to take full furnishings and all that, but it's just when it comes down to certain things, ask yourself that. Would this make the cut? If it doesn't, you know, let it go. Obviously, I know you're living in your homes, but it's just kind of another way to, to think about it. Um, another thing to think about is needs versus wants. Keep the things we need. If we don't really need it, get rid of it. If you're not using it, not loving it, get rid of it. Another question, do you have to move things to use other things in your home? So are you moving one thing from the countertop to the table so that you can use something else? Are you moving one thing from the dresser in your bedroom to the end table or the side table to, to use something else? If you're constantly having to move things to use other things, there may be some things you need to be getting rid of along that path. <laughs> Whatever that path is and whatever you're having to move in that path may not need to be there. Another question to ask yourself is, what does more stuff mean to you? So is it the more stuff that you enjoy? And, and then when you get it in your home or when you when you have it, does it make you happier? Do you feel, feel more fulfilled? Do you, do you like, like, and, and does that last? Does that feeling last? If you're telling me that you feel happier and you feel feel more, more fulfilled, how long does that last? Five minutes, 10 minutes, three days, three weeks? Or when you do that, do you start feeling, when you get that more stuff and all of that, or do you feel guilty? When you get home, do you feel guilty about money you spent? Do you feel bogged down or stressed about the more stuff in your house? Like how, how, what is it doing to you? Like, honestly, to your mental state, to you, how, how are you feeling? How are you, what do you feel about the things? How do you feel around the things when they're in your home? Um, take that into account and really be honest and think about it. Um, and having more things and having more stuff is more stuff to take care of. Even if it's just a thing, you've got to move it. You've got to dust it. You've got to, you know, depending on what it is, obviously, it's just more stuff to take care of. Do you want that? Are you looking for that? Do you not have enough to take care of in your home right now? Um, if you got rid of the stuff in your home, that's kind of on the on the borderline or on the fence of, I could get rid of this. I don't know if I should. Um, if you got rid of some stuff, what would that do for you? Would that free up more time? Would that free up more headspace? Would that relax you a little bit better? Would it, you know, alleviate some stress in your home? Think about it. Really think about it. Um, and another thing that I've always said is my mom and me talk, we talk about this, uh, you know, having a bigger home and we live in a home now that the way it's set up, we do not have a ton of extra storage, which I think over the last, whatever, 19 years we've been here, I think it's only like made my organization and purging and getting rid of just just that much stronger um, because I don't have a lot of extra space to store things. But I think even, you know, we have thought about moving and getting a little bit more space and I would not want to fill all the storage or the empty spaces with just stuff to fill it. I think we have to get away from, I've got space, I got to fill it. I've got space, I've got to fill it. I don't know who said that. I don't know who made that okay, but it's not true. Just because you have more space, like my favorite thing is if we have like, like your linen closets or your pantries or your 
cabinets or drawers or whatever. I made a reel, uh, oh, probably early January um, on Instagram. And I was, because I was kind of organizing drawers in the kitchen and the towel drawer after I kind of went through it all, there was a huge empty space there. And that's okay. Like the reel was all about, it doesn't have to be full to be okay. Empty spaces are okay. Breathing room inside your home is okay. I just, I, I don't know why we think, well, we've got the space, let's fill it. Well, we've got, you know, there's nothing here in this in this cabinet or in this drawer, I've got to fill it. I mean, you're just going to fill it with stuff you're not going to use. The, the fact that there is empty space in your home, in your closets, in your drawers, means that you're actually using everything. Like, right? You, you The things that, that are taking up the space are things that you're actually loving, using, fitting, whatever, depending on what it is. Um, and that empty, empty space means, hey, I've got everything I need. Like, I, I don't need anything else for this, you know, in the kitchen, in the linen closet, you know, in the hall closet, wherever it is. Um, so think about it that way. I think we, if we just kind of retrain our brains and how we think about some of these things, I think it will help you. Um, here's another thing, depending on what it is, um, you know, if you've just got boxes of stuff and you just don't even know, you know, you want to, you need a boost, you need a boost to get rid of it. Would you even know if it was gone? So, I mean, do you ever use it? Do you ever wear it? Do you ever touch it? Do you ever see it? Is it just stored away in boxes? Like legitimately there is stuff. And, and I'm not here. I'm not talking about seasonal items. So obviously we store away Christmas de decorations and things, um, you know, seasonally. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about you walk down into your storage area or a closet or whatever it looks like in your home and you just have things stored away. Not seasonally. You just have things stored away. Do you ever, would you know they were gone? If, 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 if you're a family member walked in there, opened up one of those boxes and took out a, I don't even know, let's just say it's a book or a spoon or a, I don't, a blender, I don't know, whatever's in those boxes. If somebody went in there, took that out of the box, you know, hid it in, took it to their home for three months, would you even know? Would you even miss it? Would you even know it's gone? Do you ever see it? Did you ever know that blender was in there? Do you ever touch that blender? Do you ever get it out to use it? I mean, those are some questions. I mean, that that's one of the things where I'm like, I don't understand. You know, you never bring this thing out. You haven't used it in years. It's literally taking up space in this, whatever it is, wherever the room is. And some people, it's not just hidden away storage, right? Like it's not just we hid it away in a closet. You know, nobody goes in there or it's in our storage room. Nobody goes down there. It's starting to now come creep into your dining room. It's, you know, there's a corner in the dining room that's just full of stuff I'm not using. Or the living room behind the couch, there was a little bit of space, so I've been putting totes over there um, that just have random things in it and things that I'm not really using, wearing, loving, you know. But now, it, oh, and in the kitchen, the pantry, I just need, I had a little corner in there, so now I'm starting to store whatever in there, right? Like it starts becoming, become it starts creeping into our actual living spaces. It's not just storage anymore for Christmas decorations. It's now, you know, creeping into our living spaces and taking up space again, not just real estate in our homes, but in our minds when we see it and just have to deal with it mentally. Um, so think about some of these things. I, I love, I mean, I could give you a boost all day long. <laughs> And if I knew you personally, I'd probably be like, okay, you know, like I've done this with my sister, I've done it with my parents, and it's like, lit, come on, now we've got to get serious, we've got to be honest, we're going to get this done, you're, you know, it, it's work, for, for some people, it's really work, and it, it's hard work, and I totally understand that, but I think if we start thinking about things in a different way, and start thinking about the way we want to live daily and in our homes, you know, I, I always, if you've got a goal or you've got this, uh, oh, what do I want to say? Kind of like this, this would be the perfect life. Like I could come home after work and I could just sit down and I can have a cup of coffee, a glass of wine, whatever it is that you do. Like you're just perfect day, right? At the end of a work day. What does that look like for you? And for a lot of people, it's, yeah, I can just, you know, the house is clean, dinner's made, you know, it's already thought about, it's it's in the oven, and I can, you know, throw on my slippers and just sit back and read a magazine or a book for a little bit, and that's kind of like a perfect or scenario. You know what I mean? Obviously, you're going to have your own little thing, but 
But then we have this other thing with, um, that's where we want to go, but all of this other stuff is bogging us down and we've got to gap that distance. And in that distance and in that gap, there's a lot of work. But if you are serious about living in this way and wanting these scenarios, that work is going to, you're going to be motivated and you're going to be determined to get that work done to get there, right? Because I don't know, you got who wants to be bogged down and stressed down by a bunch of stuff that you're not using and not loving and not touching and not seeing and not, you know, nobody does. Nobody does. So. Okay, I'm going to stop my rant because I could go on and on uh, like usual here. I say here on the podcast because I get passionate about these little things. But I love your questions. I love I love helping you. Um, keep them coming. I will continue to answer them here. And I hope some of these things, some of these questions, some of these different thought processes, some of these ways to look at things, I hope that's kind of helped give it give you a little boost and a little like, Okay, now I'm going to go, like, yes, I'm going to get serious. I'm going to get it done. Uh, I would love to know, like, which one of these ideas or thoughts or questions kind of sparked something in you or if it made you think about something in a different way. um, Let me know. And again, always reach out to me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. I mean, I'm I'm across the board. On the website, email me at lindsay at mycreativedays.com. And... uh, and yeah, I, I will, I, I will, I just, I love doing this and uh, your questions and your, and your um, ideas help me so much. So until next time, guys, next Monday, hopefully you've got, you've gone through a bunch of your stuff and you've purged a bunch and you're feeling good about it. I would love to hear about it. If you, if you're doing the process and like organizing or purging or getting rid of, take a photo, post it on your Instagram, tag me at my creative days. I would love to cheer you on. I would love to see the box of stuff you have in your car going to donate. I would love to see the box of stuff you're, you know, giving away. Um, I would, I would love to see it. That would make my day. So tag me, take photos, document it. It's something to be excited about. It's something to be proud about. Um, so document it, post it, tag me at my creative days, and I will be right along with you cheering you on. So I will talk to you next Monday, guys. Have a great week. Hello, friends. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. I'm grateful that you tune in every week and that you share the show with your family and friends. I love having creative chit chats with you. And my hope is that this podcast will inspire you to try a new project, start a DIY that you've been putting off and decorate your home exactly how you want it. There are a few ways you can help us with the podcast. Follow the podcast so you don't miss an episode. And if you could take a few minutes to leave the podcast a review, that would help us so, so much. Again, thank you for being here. And I look forward to our chat next week. Bye-bye.